Hi guys, my name is Zario Cornejo. I'm a digital artist and currently I've taken on the challenge of the How to Draw Book from Scott Robertson and Thomas Bertling. To those who have read the book, you may have glanced at the materials and also wondered what the equal space and divider can do. It's essentially an efficient tool and generally not mandatory, but it does help speed things up as much as the Eclipse set. Today I'm here to show you how to create an equal space and divider for Photoshop. It's not the best looking tool, but after lots of trials, I considered it to be accurate and would like to share that with all of you. This tool will help the digital artists create equal spacing between A and B on their objects. Okay, right now I'm going to give you guys a little demonstration. Speed things up here, how it works. This is pretty much my version of it. It got carried away. Kind of looks like the other one, but like a digital version of it. Now without further ado, I'll show you guys how you guys can make one. Welcome back folks, we're going to start in this tutorial. First thing you want to do is make a grid. And make the grid line layer to one inch apart and set the subdivisions to two. Go ahead and click OK. Then you want to make sure snap to grid is enabled. So hold shift and start making your lines on the respective part of the grid. I'll speed things up here a bit. In essence, it will look like a comb, but I got carried away so I can bring that traditional aspect of it. Now what I want to do is try to make sure that the tips are sharp to get that accuracy. So what you can do is use the eraser to sharpen those tips. And again, we'll speed things up here a bit. So just right click on that layer and convert it to a smart object. Now let's get rid of our grid and disable snap. Okay, let's test out our digital equal space and divider and see how it works. You're always going to want to use a new layer, of course. Well, there you have it, folks, a digital equal space and divider that will pr prove to be efficient for your next project, whether it's a photo, sci-fi landscape, and head or figure proportions. You can always follow me at cgsociety.arielcornejo.com. Enjoy, guys.